We're a very small company and we do a very important job of helping counties and public health agencies look at mosquitoes and other vector-borne carriers of disease and we try to help with collecting samples out of the field and we test them, we design new traps to help with uh, capturing those mosquitoes or other arthropods and so we kind of do whatever vacuum needs filling. One of the important career skills that I use a lot is like creative problem solving. If you ever hit an, an issue while you're doing your work and you have to be able to get through it without just stopping. And, and one of the, the things that I had to deal with was we lost a major supplier for our traps that we use every day and it's the cornerstone of our business. So we have to have the, that product and we just sourced them, uh, all of the raw materials. I taught myself how to do 3D catting and I designed a replacement and we are 3D printing them. And that almost became another piece of our business where other uh, people doing this work too need those and so we make them for them too. So being able to figure out how to get through that, that roadblock and, and maybe turn it into an opportunity. One of the things I use pretty much every single day is a lot of math. Uh, my job requires me to do a lot of algebra calculations in concentrations of different reagents down to the molar you know, quantities, um, all sorts of different um, conversions of different units. Um, I, I definitely was one of those people who thought, oh, when am I ever going to use this? And I, I use it every single day and I wish I had a little bit more because math just makes every aspect of life just a little bit easier.